So Crunchy Black claims that Gang Sabu was killed by her brother. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So the former 36 Mafia member was found dead on New Year's Day in her hometown of Memphis at the age of 43. Her death was ruled an accidental overdose per an autopsy report in June, which claimed she overdosed on fentanyl, cocaine, and alcohol. But in a pair of Instagram posts from fellow 36 Mafia member Crunchy Black on Tuesday, August 22nd, he claimed that her brother, E. Gutta, was behind her death. According to previous reports, Boo's brother was with her on the night of her passing and also suffered an overdose. Both the rapper and her sibling were hospitalized following the incident, but only her brother managed to recover. Crunchy Black shared a screenshot of an Instagram comment from Martinez D'Ange 1985, who appears to be someone who was allegedly in jail with Gutta. The message directed toward Gangsta Boo's brother suggested he got her up out of here on purpose after claims he hated her due to her not sending him any money. Hey, tell everybody that you probably got her up out of here on purpose. Did you tell these folk that all you used to do when we was locked up was talk about how much you hate her because she ain't send you no bread or help put you on? You a phony. I'm about to reach out to your whole family and tell them everything you used to be talking about in prison when it came to Boo. I'ma start with your mama because she needs to know her son ain't ish. In the caption, Crunchy Black wrote, God is good, he sent me this to post, and sure against the Boo brother we on your ass, he was in jail, y'all talking about how he hate her, how you gonna do something to her if anybody F with Boo, you know she had a good heart. Things that she couldn't do, she wasn't going to do it. Things that she could do, you can depend on her being there for you. I'm being there for my friend. Get it how you live or don't live at all. Miss you, love you, just like I miss my daughter. I won't smoke gangster boo. Yeah, ho. If you ever against the boom or the 36 Mafia, make sure you share and repost this and repost it, share this and repost it. In another post responding to a new story about his claim, Crunchy Black said he wanted justice for gangster boo and that her brother should kill his effing self. I'm never scared and I want Justin for Gangster Boo kill this sister because she wasn't able to do things for his when he was in jail. It wasn't her fault that a uh, don't want to get out of here and work for something to have something like she was doing. And you want a grown man, want a grown woman to take care of him just because that's his sister? Kill your effing self. Feed your effing self. Work your effing self. Lame ass. I want all the smoke, sell, repost, share this and repost this. Crunchy Black also took to the comments of the post claiming he's not saying it's just to be saying it, affirming his opinion that E. Gutta killed Gangsta Boo. I want everybody to pay attention to what I am saying. I do not say it's just to be saying it. I'm not looking for no clap. It is what it is. The whole did it and I'm going to make sure you deal with it. So don't get on this page. Talk about that ain't true. Don't get on my comments talking no ish that you don't know about. And if you claim you know it better then speak up. Do not get on my page talking about it's not true. I'm not saying just to be saying it. When an Instagram user doubted his claim, Crunchy Black responded saying it is true and that he's not trying to get some clout. Do not get on my paper page saying it's not true. Who the F you think I am? Some MF just around here trying to get some clout. Not on this MF. Just talking it is true. If you don't know about it, then get the F off my page. Gangsta Boo is survived by two brothers, the aforementioned Eric and another named Tariq. When someone on E. Gutta's Instagram page claimed it was Tariq who got the drugs that killed Gangsta Boo, Martinez D'Ange 1985 disputed this claim. False, her other brother lives in New York. It was definitely this one. He'd been out of prison for a minute. I was in there with him and I definitely believe he set her up. All he used to do was talk bad about her to us in there and talk about what he was going to do to her when he got out. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to step to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.